Warm greetings. Welcome to Progressive News. With 74th Independence Day, despite this pandemic and challenges we have been facing, Progressive English School has come up with various exciting competitions and programs. In Category 1 Coloring Competition, first prize was backed by Dana Saber of 2nd C, second prize was secured by Ashfa M of 2nd E, third prize was shared by Hamdi Muhammad Shafi of 1st C and Nafisat Misriya Falal of 2nd B. Category 2 Poster Designing Competition First prize was secured by Twalia Rahman of 4th E. Second prize was shared by Mohammed Izham of 4th A and Mehvish Fahid of 3rd C. Third prize was backed by Ajwa Amir of 2nd C. Category 3 Collage Making First prize was backed by Zena Rafiq of 5th B. Second prize was secured by Fahad PM of 7th A. Third prize was secured by Mohammed Shah Vivi of 5th B. Category 4 Elocution First prize was procured by Safa Mariam of 10th A. Second prize was secured by Rubia Siddiq of 8th A. And third prize was backed by Fatimatun Nashwa, 10th C. Category 4 Patriotic Song First prize was backed by Shaba Ashraf of 9th B. And second prize was won by Anirudh P of 8th B. Category 5 Essay Writing Competition First prize was backed by Tamanna Abdullah of 11th Science. Second prize was procured by Rania Rashid of 11th Science and third prize was shared by Reema Muhammad Ashraf and Fatima Hakim of 11th Science. Congratulations to all the winners. Now coming back to the academic news. The pre-midterm examination of the academic year 2020-21 for the classes 1 to 12 was held from 17th to 29th of August. The students have attended the examination in online through Google form. To talk further, we have with us our principal, Mrs. Suritra R. Hello everyone. Hope all of you are fine and keeping a good health. So, how was the first ever online examination that you took? I hope all of you have made your first experience the best one. It is very evident from the exams that you have written that all of you have put in the very great efforts to make this online examination a grand success. I must really appreciate the dedication and support and the enthusiasm all of you have shown. And the first uh, credit and first thanks goes to all the parents. Without the support of all the parents, I don't think this would have been uh, possible for us, especially in the lower classes. Parents contributed very well for the smooth conduct of the online examination. Secondly, I should uh, express my heartfelt thanks for the exam department who day and night worked very hard to conduct the exams in a very smooth manner without affecting the schedule at all. And my special thanks also goes to all the class teachers who were very vigilant throughout the day, helping the children to sort out all the technical issues and maintaining the smooth conduct of the examination. Anyway, uh, dear children, so thank, once again I should thank all of you for putting your heart and soul and making this uh, examination a grand success. So now we are going for the autumn vacation and we will be reopening uh, on September 3rd and we will be resuming our online classes. And remember, we told that the click competitions would also continue from the month of September onwards. So waiting to see you all in the online mode, very enthusiastic very healthy, very, very competitive. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Next, as a student representative, we have Safa of class 10 to share the experience of the examination. Assalamu Talking about the PT1 examination. The PT1 examination was conducted by Progressy for all students from all grades. The examination went really well. Initially, we had this confusion like whether the examination will be happening or not happening. Even if it is happening, like how will it be just happening? And so and so confusions were there. But the exam went really well. And there were some issues here and there, like some range issues or some time management problems. Like uh, the time was very systematic and very strict on time. And the examination was also called an open book examination where you can refer textbook. But if you're so focused in referring textbook and taking answers and all, then the time is going to run out. So you should be like very aware and very cautious of time. 
so and uh, talking about the system of examination um the examination was conducted like three stages one activity the activity is where you are practically doing some experiments from our home from what we are learned and then we are taking pictures and sending to teacher it was a very good thing yeah it was nice to do and then uh, descriptive examination and uh, mcq examination the mcq is held first within 15 minutes you have to write mcq uh, with in the google form and send to teacher and descriptive within 30 minutes and that's the whole thing about examination and to ensure that every student is there online the teachers are taking attendance like half hour before the examination that was a very good thing like i was not in online for my english examination my teacher class teacher informed my mother to be in online so that was a good thing teacher was really looking at attendance like are we sitting or not there so that was a good initiative right right teachers are really working hard and so that was a very good thing you know doing uh, doing examinations at this time so thank you thank you safa have coronavirus vaccine by 2020 and said Harshwardhan Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare Harshwardhan said on Saturday that the country will have a vaccine against the deadly coronavirus by the end of the year India rejects China's suggestion of equidistant disengagement from finger area in Ladakh While efforts are underway to resolve the ongoing border dispute India has rejected China's suggestion to disengage equidistantly from the finger area in eastern Ladakh JEE need exams to be held as per schedule NTA releases clarification in the letter tweeted by NTA the agency has shared supreme court's order stating that the examination cannot be postponed any further privatization of Tiruvannamalai airport is snowballing into a conflict with multiple layers the center has decided to lease out the operation management and development of the airport to adani enterprises for a period of 50 years a move being ardently opposed by the state government covid-19 is a once in a century health crisis but it also gives us a once in a century opportunity to shape the world our children will inherit the world we want said dr tedros adhanom ghebreyesus who director general dr tedros adhanom ghebreyesus remarked at the media briefing on covid-19 that the corona virus would be controlled within 2 years he said that no country could ride out this until a vaccine is discovered He also added that the pandemic has given us a glimpse of our world as it could be cleaner skies and rivers. Google rolling out live subtitles for conversation on Duo. Google has begun rolling out a new future feature for this messaging app Duo whereby users will now find live captions for messages sent on the app. Israel bombs Gaza as rocket fires intensifies. Israeli warplanes bombed the Hamas ruled Gaza strip on Friday as Palestinians fired rockets and launched fire bombs into southern Israel the army said. Thousands evacuated as two storms head for southern US. Thousands of people have been evacuated from the parts of Caribbean and southern US as two storms Hurricane Marco and Tropical Storms Laura tore this region on Sunday. Sports news UEFA Champions League final Bayern with 6th title beat PSG 1-0. Bayern Munich won the title for a 6th time by beating PSG 1-0 in the final thanks to the goal from the former PSG youth academy graduate Kingsley Coman. IPL 2020 need for dynamic schedule due to pandemic. The Indian Premier League IPL has officially moved to UAE. However, the schedule for the tournament is not out yet. BCCI team in UAE to finalize the IPL 2020 schedule before the end of the week. Stay tuned for more updates till then this is Reema Mohammad Ashraf Progressive News.